Hey guys, it's Ron. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I hope you're you're getting something out of them. Uh, this is Lab Nine. Lab Nine is the rip routing protocol. Uh, so in the last video we did static routing. Now we're going to get our first taste of a dynamic routing protocol. Uh, so rip is a distance vector routing protocol, which means it uses distance and direction. So I'm when I do my advertisements, I'm going to say uh, some to the effect of this interface uh, one hop or something along that lines okay so my metric for uh, for rip is that hop how many hops do I have to go to uh, to get to this uh, network alright so we have two versions of rip version one and version two version one is an old one uh, version or rip to begin with is hardly used anyway uh, but there are some special cases. Version 1 of RIP is hardly ever used. And that's because version 1 is classful. It does not include uh, the subnet information. All right. So that means uh, the network that you have sitting in front of you uh, is not going to work because, you know, I've subnetted all over the place. Uh, so, uh, so it's just not, it's not going to work. It can't, it can't handle that properly. All right. Also, it's going to use broadcasts to send those announcements, which means that everybody along that line has to stop what they're doing, listen to the announcement, whether or not they care about RIP or not. All right. So when RIP v2 came out, they fixed those things. They added the subnetting information in there, making, making it classless, and they changed it from a broadcast to a multicast. So now it goes out as 224.0.0.9, which means that only those people that are subscribed to that multicast group get it and care about it. All right. As I said before, dis, uh, distance uh, vector routing protocol, uh, and it uses hop count as its primary metric. And in the case of RIP, it can only do a max hop count of 15, which means anything beyond 15, it can't get to. Right. So that limits the the size of the network that you can build, um, which is good because we're, we're sending out these massive announcements every 30 seconds by default with RIP. All right. Now there's two concepts uh, we need to quickly talk about and that's route poisoning and split horizon. So in order for RIP to avoid loops and things of that nature uh, they implement route poisoning and split horizon. All right. Route poisoning was if this network goes down I'm gonna advertise out that that network has a hop count of 16 and because uh, RIP had a max hop count of 15 that means you cannot reach the network so this keeps other people from saying well yeah you can't get to it from router C anymore but I still know how to get to it and it's this many hops away by sending out a 16 it kills all of those all right uh, then we have this thing called split horizon split horizon means that if I advertise out or if router B advertises out this network to router A Router A isn't going to repeat that announcement back to it over the same link. All right. So this this means if if it were able to do that, we could cause a scenario where a packet that was trying to reach this network would go to Router B, and Router B would say, "Well, Router A told me it knows how to get there," so it would go back and it would just keep bouncing back and forth. All right. So this kind of you know limits that from happening. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing to implement uh, RIP is we need to convert these addresses to their classful addresses. So 192.168.0.2, uh, this is a class C, which means we use the first three octets. So it's 192.168.0.0. Now, if you don't understand what I just said, watch my subnetting video, and you, you, know, you should get a better feel for that. All right, so this is 172.16.2.1. This is a class B, so we only use the first two octets, so 172.16.0.0. And that's how we're going to build our network statements. All right, so let's jump into it. So we do a uh, config T, router rip to turn rip on, right? Now, we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to paste in, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste in my different uh, network statements, and then we're going to do an end. Now, show IP protocols. Now, if you notice that we're using RIP, we're sending RIP announcements every 30 seconds. Uh, we're sending version 1, but we can receive version 1 or 2. And we're sending it out every interface. 
all right so these are the networks that we're concerned about and we're gonna advertise them out every interface so when we actually did this network statement what it did was it said if I have an interface that lies within that network I'm gonna advertise out the network that's connected to that interface and I'm going to advertise out on that interface okay so we've we've chosen our network and our interface with this one statement here so let's go ahead and enable rip on our other uh, routers as well We'll do a router rip I'll paste in the same thing bam and config T router rip paste it in bam and so now we'll do a show uh, IP route notice we're starting to get uh, rip announcements uh, but notice we're getting the wrong uh, the wrong addresses right so I got this 172.16.0.0 slash 16 well there's no slash 16 on my network uh, and if you notice I don't have all of my uh, uh, all of my loopback addresses, those were slash 32s. And I've got this 192 wants to say 1.0 slash 24. So we know some something's not you know working right. So let's do a debug IP rip. So what we should start seeing is rip announcements coming in from the other routers, as well as rip announcements going out from our current router. So let's see. We'll do a uh We'll just wait one second. We should, you know, every 30 seconds. So, I mean, you, you, you end up getting a lot of uh, traffic across your network. So, we'll do a you all now. So, that all that's undebug all. So, we received a version 1 update from 192 wants to say 0 0.1 on our serial interface. And it advertised out these three networks. And they're all one hop away. Now, if you notice here, no subnet mask information, which is where the problem is really coming from. You know, so we're we're sending out the announcements, and we're using a broadcast address to do so, but we're also not really sending, you know, subnet information, right? We're just advertising out these networks, metric one, because they're directly connected, uh, but there's, you know, there's no real you know subnet information so that's that's causing our network to have some real issues so what we need to do is bump up to version 2 now there's two things that you need to know about version 2 well really one thing that you need to know about version 2 is that it does auto summary which means when I send an announcement I'm gonna summarize that address to its classful uh, address which we don't want so when we do when we switch up we'll change that up so we'll do a config t router rip we're just going to do a version 2 so now we've switched over to version 2 of rip okay and we're also going to do a no auto summary all right and show ip protocols all right, so notice now we're sending to and receiving to. We're still routing for the same networks. We're still, uh, we have this 120 in here, which is the same as before. This is the administrative distance for, uh, for RIP. When we did the static routing uh, lab, we, we made sure we had a, uh, an administrative distance of 150. So now if we were to get an advertisement in, for one of the networks that was identified with our static route, this would override it because it has a lower administrative distance. All right. So let's go in and we'll do the same thing on our other routers. Config T router rip version 2. Uh, how about router rip version, if I could spell today, 2 uh, no auto summary. Let's flip over to router C, fig T, router rip, uh, version 2, no auto, 
summary end now let's do a debug IP rip and see what's different here so it shouldn't take us that long to start getting advertisements in okay there we go so we received let's do a you all cuz now if you see here we received a version 2 update notice now we've got our mask information and our mask information is correct okay had we not turned auto summary on we would still been getting wrong mask information but it would have been included alright so let's do a show IP route and notice now 1.1 1.3 these are our loopback addresses and they are slash 32's alright so we should be able to ping 192.168.1.3 all right so rip it, v2 is working you know the way that it should all right uh, though just like I said before if we do a show IP route 192.168.1.3 so this is going from router A to router C notice that it's going there via serial 00 so if we bring the diagram back up to get from here to this loopback address it's using serial 00 so it's going to send it on that 256k link because it says that's a hop count of 1 which is a better route than a hop count of 2 even though this is actually the better route so that's pretty much it for for rip uh, not too hard to configure just the router rip uh, I recommend version 2 and turning auto summary off uh, then just add your classful networks uh, statements in there uh, and you should be good to go alright again I don't recommend running rip uh, there's better routing protocols out there but there are times when uh, you know maybe somebody's equipment that you're working with only supports rip well now you know how to implement it so uh, again hope you got something out of the video leave me some comments uh, or questions if you have any uh, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible alright thanks